What is up guys, PCHD here bringing you a Team of the Season hybrid squad builder. This squad is going to have 8 players from this week's Team of the Season. So it's a good hybrid and um, hopefully you guys do enjoy it. The first player we're going to add in there is the Mignolet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce all these players names right. But he is an absolute beast to be having a player review out for him probably tomorrow. He does have 85 diving, 84 handling, 85 reflexes, 78 positioning and then pretty decent kicking and speed as well. He's a nice player to use and he fits in quite nicely to link up with some of the players that are in here. Then you can see that we go on to the right back that is Reiter. Um, he is a Fulham right back in the team of the season. He's got 81 pace, 80 defending, 77 heading, 80 passing and 75 dribbling. Um, on him, he did, I didn't really notice him too much when playing with him. He was just kind of there, but definitely not the best I've used. And we go on to the left back that is just the average, plain old, simple, boring Ashley Cole. One of only the three that aren't team of the season in this squad. But we have to stick him in there anyway. He's got fairly decent pace and things like that. But he managed to link up with this centre back, the first of the two. That is the team of the season Jagielka for Everton. At the time, we paid 150,000 coins for this guy, and he's fairly decent, does the job, very, very nice defensive and heading stats there, both of 87, decent pace for 73, and then finish him off, got nice passing and dribbling as well. So at this stage, guys, it would be great if you could remember to drop a like rating. Let's try and get 150 likes on this Team of the Season squad builder. Um, hopefully you do enjoy this kind of thing. I could bring these out fairly more often, or you could be sick of them already from what people have already made. But let's try and smash 150 likes. Um, subscribe to me as well. But Hangland is the other centre-back that we managed to stick in. Not going to go over him because he's a really crappy player. But Mikel Arteta is the centre-defensive mid. He's got 85 shooting, 91 passing, 88 dribbling, 73 heading and 77 defending, 71 pace in there as well. He was very, very nice, very good long shots. I'm not sure what his long shots are, but they were I scored quite nice long shots as well. And to be fair, scored a couple of headers with him as well, which was fairly decent. Then we have the first, really, really, well, the only really bad player that is Morello. Um, to be honest, he wasn't even that bad, but he is a non shiny silver, which makes this team look so much worse than it actually is. But he is a very good silver, to be fair, guys. Don't um, don't mock him until you've tried him. But the, uh, the right mid is the Delofu. Delofu, Delofu, whatever. He's got 93 pace, 88 dribbling. He's got 75 shot, 85. 61 passing, 55 heading and 40 defending. So he fits in there nicely, he's got good little pace, he's maybe not the best at shooting and things like that. Mainly used for running down the wings, crossing the ball in and then a simple goal on the end of it. But we can move on now to the central attacking midfielder who is team of the season, Valero. Who's 67 pace, 80 shot, 89 passing, 86 dribbling, and 66 heading. 72 defending there as well. It'd probably be better if I played him in a centre defensive mid role. But he managed to link up with the two strikers that we'll move on to after. He's um he's fairly average, doesn't do too much to be honest with you. And these two strikers that I do have are very slow, which means that they don't really do too much either. You can see the first one is the Diamante. Diamante. Um, he's got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot on him, he's got 87 shot, 89 dribbling, 85 passing and then 76 pace and you could say that yes I'm a pace abuser and things but still 76 pace for someone that isn't is so hard to play with especially when his partner alongside him is Soriano who does only have 75 pace as well, he's got 75 dribbling, 77 shot, 67 passing and 72 heading. His best attribute was probably just smacking him from outside the box. He didn't really score too many either, though, to be fair with you. Um, but that's going to be the end of the squad, guys. I'm going to leave you with some goals now. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please do remember to drop a like. Comment what um, you want to see from me tomorrow, and I will uh, see you on the next video.